here I am, yeah, Suffolk Triumph with this marvellous collection of bikes. Uh, but what am I riding? Look at this, yeah, Triumph 400 speed. Marvellous, eh? Yeah, wonderful. Let's uh, get going on down the road. Oh, little bit hiccupy to start there, but we're off. Yeah, right, let's get going. Um, so, obviously, uh, just like the 400, engine-wise, yeah, but this has got bar-end mirrors for a start, a uh, lot smaller, seat height, oh, I don't know, 790 or something like that, really quite low, so Dev can ride it and everybody, yeah. Um, I'm six foot two. Do I feel any different on it? No, I don't, to be honest. Um, I feel pretty damn comfy. And when I originally rode these two 400s, um, I actually preferred this speed. It seemed to handle just a little, just a fraction better and the engine seemed a bit smoother. Um, yeah, so there you go. Yeah. So, um, yeah, when I rode them both, I, I preferred this. It seemed smoother on the throttle and uh, that slightly better handling. Um, but no hand guards, no belly pan, nothing like that. Um, I was going a little bit quick on it back there in the 30 but it just feels dead right do you know what I mean I'll be interested to see how this one is on the A14 um, so what I'll do is I'll keep you with us till we get to the A14 show a little bit on the A14 just like I did with the uh, uh, 400x yeah I've got it for a few days so hopefully I can get Mrs Tame on the back of this one as well uh, one or two people asked for it um, it is blowing quite a hooly today let me get the visor down properly hopefully that'll be better I know someone said they could actually hear the engine better with the visor up well the engine is a bit quieter and I will open it um, when I finished on the A14 I think um, but yeah so obviously 39.5 brake horsepower and 37 and a half newton meters of torque uh, not shabby uh, the brakes vibrate uh, 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 what, how do you say it? <laughs> yeah, the not proper Brembo's, but you know the cheaper version. Uh, suspension, just the same. This has only got 17-inch uh, wheels on it though, whereas um, uh, the Scrambler has obviously got a bigger front wheel. Yeah, and obviously slightly different rake and stuff. And I think that affects its handling and that's what makes this 400 a little bit sharper. But we'll see. We shall see how we get on. So I'll show you a little bit but because they're not fully run in yet these I don't want to thrash it too much so um, yeah oh, no problem at all uh, just like the scrambler no issues with speed 
easily does the 70 miles an hour maximum and maybe a little bit beyond um, uh, maybe a bit more vibey uh, on this seat but that could be just because of my size yeah six foot two um, 34 inch inside leg but we'll get up on onto the dual carriageway again and I will catch you at the other end yeah um, you can see I'm following the flow of traffic and we'll see how we go when we get up I've got a car coming up on my outside so I could have continued that acceleration but there we go right um, here we are just coming off the A14 um, and it's been absolutely no bother at all uh, any better than the scrambler? no just pretty much the same I would say um, which is not a surprise is it um, the rev counters so uh, at 6,000 revs you're doing 70 miles an hour and at six and a half seven thousand revs you're almost doing 80 I would imagine uh, yeah um, and that's not too shabby is it not too shabby at all uh, what I will do I'm just trying to work out timing I think what I'll, what I'll do is I will go up to Hawley Castle and just do a little walk around and see what you think yeah I, I'm sure you've seen it all before you've seen it all before on my videos um, but it does look uh, quite different from the scrambler apart from being shorter um, obviously the exhaust's different uh, but yeah that'd be marvellous won't it so uh, I'll catch you when I get up into Hawley yeah so as we're on our way up to Hawley I was just thinking as I was getting on the brakes uh, I might have just mentioned them absolutely fine clutch obviously light as a feather um, handling these bumps on the suspension well no bother either yeah uh, the seat it's that bench seat so I don't think it's quite as comfy but that could be just my size I don't think it's quite as comfy as the as the scrambler but this definitely has the edge on it when it comes to handling so we'll get down here um, and just a quick look just to refresh your memory of it yeah, on my own memory. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, this is Holy Castle. Uh, of course, it's the castle's long gone. Let's get in here. And this is a moat, not a pond. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Um, well, let's let's stop it here. Um, indicator off um, and we'll see how we get on yeah let's have a little look at it see what we think yeah there we go triumph speed 400 um, I mean what else can I say it's just wonderful so here we are just a quick look uh, for now at the at the speed 400 yeah um, just marvellous isn't it it just looks like a well well like a, a bit of baby speed 
Um, and very similar to the Hunter. I think it's a little bit bigger than the Hunter though. Um, not just in engine size. Yeah, 17-inch uh, wheels. Um, and that marvellous uh, red tank. Yeah, just lovely. Um, bar end mirrors, of course. Um, and the keyhole dash. Yeah, analog speedo, rev counter. Um, Jake tells me that where it flashes, you actually set um, where that level is. And he's, he's set it at 6,000 RPM because it's doing 70 at that speed and it might just deter people from thrashing it as a demo. <laughs> yeah, because they do, don't they, demos? Yeah. Um, lots of people will put a tail tidy on, I guess. It's got a little hugger there. Um, I'll be interested to see how Mrs. Tame fits on it. But I'll keep this simple um, and uh, crack on. Yeah. All right, here we go. Back on board, ignition on, Brrr, bing, yeah, oh. there we go, get home before it gets dark, um, quick refresh of the senses, there we go, down this bumpy old Suffolk road which you've probably come to know quite well now, oh this just goes, it's marvellous. Um, what I'll be interested in though is riding it actually slowly yeah um, because when you buy a bike with speed in the title does it make you ride it fast I want to know if it's how relaxing it is look at that we've got people and a marvellous dog it's wonderful and more people on push bikes yeah um, anyway, the senses. Uh, where shall we start? Uh, taste. Well, you know I'm not tasting it, but what would it taste of based on its looks? Um, and I reckon it could actually be a stick of rock. Just a little stick of rock. Not like the rocket, like a big jumbo stick of rock. Uh, yeah, I reckon it could. Um, all sugary and nice. <laughs> yeah. Marvellous. Um, it smell, still smells like a new bike. No smell of oil or petrol or hot water, anything like that. Um, yeah, no, uh, just as you'd expect it to, because it is a new bike, you know, well, almost new. Um, then what uh, to look at? Well, it looks like a baby. Oh, yeah, what's this car doing? It looks like a baby Triumph Speed, doesn't it? 900 or uh, 1200. I'd be very interested to see if you can get a pipe for it. Yeah, that's what it looks like, I think. It also looks like a hunter. You can't get away from the fact. And in fact, I said before this came out, I always thought that the hunter looked like a baby triumph, which is ironic. Um, yeah, and to touch and feel. Well, it doesn't feel cheap. They're obviously built down to a price, as we're, as with the Scrambler. And this is even cheaper, under £5,000. Um, but it, uh, the, it feels better quality. It feels better quality than, than the money. Yeah. Um be interesting to see what Mrs. Tame thinks of it, of course. This car in front is very hesitant, it's a little bit jittery and now he's gone whizzing off. We are actually in a 20, so I don't know, it's all stop and start. 
I mean he's doing 30 well before that 30 yeah um, so yeah and then sound what does it sound like well it doesn't sound that bad it really doesn't from what I can hear you might be hearing something very different and I'm sure that someone will do a, a little pipe for it maybe a more um, triumph looking pipe there's something definitely wrong with that person in that red car I don't know what they're up to um, so I'm going to just hang back a bit uh, yeah so the sound could be better is what I'd say could 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 do more yeah um, but it's not too bad then of course the sixth sense are we at 30 here I think yeah I think we're allowed 30 oh it's 20 here there you go um, so what I'll do is I'll bring you back when I get through this 20 yeah right <laughs> that 20 is so boring but I tell you what the bike is dead easy to ride at it you know it's so easy to balance it's so light um, no trouble at all I will pop down this little side road which is more designed for the scrambler than it is for the speed but I'm sure the speed will cope with it admirably yeah marvellous um, yeah the sixth sense well I like it I like it a lot I really do um, I, do I prefer the scrambler oh, I don't know in the ideal world you'd have one of each wouldn't you yeah um, but anyway uh, I'm gonna leave it at that and uh, you will see it again out and about yeah because I've got it for a little while um, and I will catch you oh traffic I will catch you in the next video yeah if I ever get out of here marvellous